Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again, and I am back with another great video. So this video is sponsored by Pacdora, and if you don't know what they are, Pacdora is basically a platform that provides extensive collection of packaging templates, die lines, and mockups, and it has a very user-friendly interface designed to empower graphic designers, 3D artists, and allowing them to tailor packaging die lines and effortlessly export 3D animated mockups. Okay, so yeah, that's basically Pactora in a nutshell. And if you guys want to get a uh, you know an account here, you can get it uh, for twenty nine dollars a month. And if you use the code Effects Maniac, you'll get twenty percent off. And of course, it'll help me as well. So I'll also get a commission. So if you're into like uh, packaging designs, die lines and everything, this is the best platform for you. And I'm going to show you guys why, because they have over 4,900 uh, plus packaging mockups and they're very easy to use. So you go, you have a mockup generator, you have the 3D design tool, which is basically like a 3D software on its own. And you have templates and die lines for people who are looking for the outlines and the die lines of you know different products and stuff. So let's get into it. So you can you can go ahead and click on anything. You can just click here and get started. So you have different 3D models and stuff. So you have boxes, you have food packaging. So if you go there, you have a lot of different things here. So what I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to bottles and jags and uh, see here you have a lot of different things here so you can based on what you need you can just go ahead and click on one so I'm just gonna go and click on this one and it's gonna open it up into a different uh, page and here it is in your 3d view so uh, if you've used a 3d software before it's basically very simple so you can click and drag the lift mouse button and it'll basically orbit around the 3d model so this is essentially a 3d model and then you can use the wheel of the mouse to zoom in and out and you can use the right click and drag to pan or basically move up and down and right and left so yeah you can change this uh, text here you can upload your own images so you can click on it and then you have the die lines for it and then you can add your own images or you can go to elements and add the different elements that are you know that they have and they provide for the different sort of things so you can go with uh, text combinations you can click on this and it's basically huge so you can go ahead zoom out scale it down and just place it here in the middle so you have a you know a logo a text or anything and then you have inspirations, you have patterns, and then you have some mock-ups that are ready made for different products. So let's say you want to select this one. And I'll just take this and move everything. You can just place it here and you can select this one and move it here. And then you can select all of these and just move it inside the thing here. So it's very easy to use. You can scale it down, you can rotate it from here, and then you can just move it, you know, just by clicking on it. And you have a lot of different, you know, inspirations and patterns and elements that you can use. You can also upload your own custom sort of size. So you can, you can delete this, you can upload your own images and place them here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go use one of those again, or you can just hit Control Z, they'll bring it up. And once you're okay with it, you can just go ahead and save it and you will see that design in your 3D model. All right. So you have, if you want to customize or bring other models or replace this with other models, here they are. And you can search for them and you can click on these collections. They have like plenty of 3D models, which I will show you guys uh, in the 3D design tool. So you can go and replace it with another model. So you just click and it'll be replaced. I can go back here and I will go into beverage bottles and I'm going to select this one. So I'll replace this. So yeah, we have it here. So I can go back to my edit and I can go upload and you can upload your images or you can just go to patterns and add a pattern or some inspiration just like that uh, and if you want to delete the pattern you can just go ahead and click here and that's basically it so we'll save it and we have it here so yeah you can upload your own images 
and in order to see the the size of it you can see it's clearly written here so it's actually 230 millimeter by 180 millimeter so i just wanted to show you guys that you know so i'm gonna save this and here it is so the other thing you can go is you can go and change the background just like that and you'll see a different background and if you want to export this right now you can just go ahead and click on super export and you'll have a mock-up just like that you just go ahead frame it the way you want it if you want a JPEG or a PNG, uh, you have fast speed and then you have slow speed using cloud rendering technology and it'll be a lot more, you know, accurate and lifelike. And you can also export like die lines, the die line for it, or a video, which we'll take uh, a look at later. You can also go click and, you know, just add some basic animations to it, just like that, or this one. And then you can export it and choose the ratio 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 and yeah you can also export the code for it if you want to get the HTML code for it so right now I just want to export a mockup uh, and fast speed JPEG it'll be 4k and you can download now and it'll be done in a second so that's how quick it is to export your 3d mockup Okay, so yeah, this is how you change your background. You can have a solid color, you can have a gradient, or you can have an image that you can bring in. And we've taken a look at the videos uh, that we can, you know, have some sort of basic uh, camera animation or the product animation that you can do. So it's just like that. Yeah, and you can have advanced which is coming soon but for now you can use these basic animations for your product and export it from super export and then you have the main thing which is the 3d design tool which is its own sort of you know it'll you have creative combinations you have a variety of scene templates and then you have lighting and shadow effects so you can go ahead and enter the 3d design tool which is the core of pactora so you can just click here and it'll go there so we have our product in this 3D view and most of you guys are familiar with the 3D software because you know of my channel the audience is mostly 3D users so I do 3D tutorials and even if you are not you can just go ahead and click and drag on the left mouse button to orbit around your 3D environment and then you can use the wheel of the mouse to sort of zoom in and out and then you can use the right mouse click and drag to move up and down and left and right. You can also do it from here. So yeah, here we have our product and if you want to change it to like a different scene, so you can just go ahead and switch scene and it'll basically duplicate the model to be able to match up with that template. And you have it here. So yeah, you can just go ahead and pan and just like that, have a view like this and if you can if you want you can go ahead and select uh, i'll just go back to the one model which will be easier so if you click on your model you can move it up you can rotate it on different axes you know on x y and z and if you make a mistake you can hit control z and you can change the materials for it so you can go ahead click on this the area or you can give it like a you know a rougher material not so much of a uh, crisp and reflective material and you can choose the lid which is the top part I guess and you can increase the roughness or decrease it based on how reflective you want it to be and you can choose the surface and increase the middleness a little bit which will look, make it look a lot more better and then you can go ahead and give it some roughness to make it look more realistic and transmission is basically making it look transparent which we don't want in this case so yeah once you make the changes to your material and if you are um, a 3d artist and someone who knows 3d you'll basically know these very well and these are some of the basic properties of a 3d material but i just wanted to go over in case you don't know and you're just you know a 2d person and then you have the different sizes you have a uh, 500 milliliter you can have 650 milliliter which will be a bit bigger but we want the 500 milliliter because we just designed like that 
And the cool thing about this is now you can replicate it into different scenes. So if you go down here, you have basic scenes and you have sphere scenes and you have water scenes, you have leaf, you have nature, uh, you have wood, space and everything. And for this product and for beauty products, I think these ones are really nice. So you can switch the scene here, click on it, and it'll basically switch to that scene. Just like this. And then you can change the color of the background and the color combinations. So I guess this one or this one is looking nice. And once you're okay with it, you can just go ahead, do a super render. So you can choose the ratio. We want it to be 16 by nine. You can zoom in, you can pan, you can change it before rendering it. So you'll just go here, just like that. And then you just click on download now and it is done so i think it's a lot more faster than a 3d software because if you want to do something like this let's say in 3d studio max you would have to just like do the materials and then render and it'll probably take a minute or two but it just does it in a second so it's it's really powerful and you can also just change you know the properties and the placement of the different objects and the materials and then you have all these scenes here which you can use so it's really cool and powerful and then you can go to the models and add you know from the library they have a lot of different models which you can use and add so you can choose from here and then you can go to shapes basic 3d shapes or you have advanced shapes so let's say i want to add a flower which i don't know why but you can add it so here it is, you can just move it here, you can rotate it, and then you can scale it down just like that and move it up just like that. And they have plenty and plenty of 3D models. It's basically like a mini 3D software on its own, which is really cool. So if you're in, if you know like the basics of 3D, so this will be very, very straightforward to you. But I just wanted to show you guys how it works, and they have plenty of 3D models. You can go through and add them. And then you have your background, which of course we've taken a look at. And then you have your lighting, so you can you can have different lighting setups. You can have silky moonlight, you have sky, or, uh, sky fire sunset, and then you have evening sun. So whatever you want, just go ahead and select it and then go to Super Render. So you go there and set up your scene just like that, how I want it, zoom in a little bit and then download now and you're good to go. So you just click here and yeah, this is your render and it looks pretty nice. So this is the 3D design tool. And if I go click on the Pactora logo, I just want to uh, go ahead and show you guys the templates and die lines generator. And I believe that is it. So it has a lot of capabilities that I cannot possibly get into in a single video. But if you go into templates and die lines generator, you have the, if you're basically into like 3D and you know unwrapping, uh, so that's what it is for a 3D model. So you get the die line or the unwrapped sort of outline of a 3D model, which you can go ahead and take it into your, you can take it in Photoshop or any software and you can add your own sort of um, uh, logo and designs to it. So, so we have everything here. So you can just click on this. They're just building the packaging and stuff, preparing it for the creation. And here it is to the millimeter, everything, dimensions, outer dimensions and everything. So it's available. So you can go in here and open and close. So you have a basic 3D preview of it. So it's flattened and now it's closed. So it's looking really nice. And then you can download it. You can have an AI Illustrator file. You can have a PDF file or an DXF. Uh, you can download it and basically use it in any 3D software that you want. All right, so that's how you download your uh, die lines into your favorite 3D or uh, your favorite format that you can use. So this is more into people who are doing packaging designs and doing it in 2D. Okay, so yeah, that's basically Pactora in a nutshell. And if you guys want to get a uh, you know an account here, you can get it uh, for twenty nine dollars a month. And if you use the code Effects Maniac, you'll get twenty percent off. And of course, 
it'll help me as well so I'll also get a commission so you can go ahead and get it and use it and if you have any questions you can contact them and it's really amazing so yeah that's basically Pactora in a nutshell for you guys and hopefully it will be useful for your product uh, animations mockups and die lines and everything that you can do with it uh, so yeah this was the today's video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, till the next one enjoy working